All right, welcome back. Um, last but not least, uh, we're going to dive a little bit into Apex Fusion, and more importantly, we're going to do the uh, profile um, using Fusion for his new Reef Bright LEDs so that we can set our sunrise, sunset, um, and our color spectrum. So, first thing we're going to do is we're already logged in. We're going to select his Apex here in Fusion. Um, and we're going to go to his outlets here. Again, this is a Fusion interface. You can see here the status of his return pump. Obviously, it's on. It's in auto mode. His skimmer is on. His ATO is off. His chiller is off because his temperature is within range. His hog algae scrubber is off. That will come on a bit later. Um, feeder is off. I've um, already created a couple little um, variable outlets here for his lights. We have blue light and white light. Those are his two variable speed ports. And so you know, that's what we're going to go in and set right now. We're going to go in and make the final adjustments here to it and kind of pump up his lighting a little bit. So we've already had his blue lights running at 100%. And uh, for the moment, I think we're going to be okay. He's got them under metal halide. So I'm going to increase these a tad. And we can simply go in and adjust the graph. And basically, what we're doing here is we're adjusting his lighting curve. So, essentially, at 11 o'clock in the morning, his lights are going to start coming on. And at 11 o'clock at night, they're going to be off. That'll be basically the end of sunset. And in particular, right now, we're on his blue lights. So, um, and we can add points in here too if we want um, so that we have you know a, a slower sunrise you know if we want it to just kind of gradually stay on um, and then ramp up faster you know there's a number of different things we can do here um, but since this is only the blue light we're just going to bring it up slowly and to make things more precise we can go in here and I can edit this point here, just point. And we're going to make this 11 o'clock. And it's at 0% at 11. And we're going to make this one here, the last one, just point 2300, which would be. Alright, and then let's see here. Now, we don't want to be at our max period really any more than four hours a day. If you think about um, a normal sunrise, sunset, where our peak lighting is, peak lighting is going to be something in the neighborhood of, you know, probably two hours a day. So what we're going to do is we're going to move these points up quite a ways, but more importantly, these two points here, which will be the max intensity for the moment, um,
not exactly what I'm after. I'm going to have to go in and make some adjustments. But effectively, you can go in and adjust your lighting. We can add points if we want, um, which I'll add a couple points in here to make some other curves. If I want to add a point here, I just right click here. And oops. Go in here. Add a point. It gives me another point of adjustment right here. Add a point. And so we create an additional point in there so that we can make our light curve however we want it. And we're going to do this for the blue light and the white light. So give us a moment while we make some changes and we'll be right back with you. Hi, I'm Eric Cohen of Blue Life USA. Let me show you my product line. Clear FX Pro, filter media in a bag. Comes in three sizes for fresh water and salt water. New technology, new resins, removes phosphates, organics, and clarifies water. Safety Stop, quarantine treatment for fresh water and marine fish. Our Blue Vet RX product line consists of phosphate, aptasia, red cyano, and flatworm remedies. And our Watercolors Aquarium background comes in colors black and blue, available in four different sizes. Blue Life USA, aquarium products found in retail stores across the country. Or for more information, visit us at bluelifeusa.com. Are you ready to update your aquarium lighting to LEDs, but are confused with the gimmicks, the colors, gadgets, and programming? Let ReefBright help you with straightforward LED lighting strips similar to your old tube lighting. ReefBright's XHO and Tech LED light strips are long narrow units packed with a row of one or three watt LED bulbs. Three color choices, a 10K white, a 50-50 mix, and a blue actinic. ReefBright's LED light strips easily mount to the inside of your canopy or use the three or five unit mounting brackets to attractively suspend multiple strips over the top of your tank. ReefBright also offers metal halides and metal halide LED combinations. You can find us on the internet at selected dealers and local fish shops or visit us at reefbright.com. One of the best things about going with an Apex is that you become one of the tens of thousands of other owners that love helping each other out. Maybe you get stuck, or maybe you just want to simply take on a new DIY project. Whatever your question is, the Neptune Systems Community Forum brings all of those thousands of users together to help you answer it. Many of the things discussed in this video series are also covered there in various posts. Or add your own question and start the conversation. That's forums.neptunesystems.com. All right, so we've got his lights programmed. Um, again, these are the Reef Bright XX toes. Um, we've got two white lights, two blue lights, or two blue strips. Um, and I've got it set right now. 
is uh, he's got only soft corals. I'm not worried about bleaching SPS or anything like that. His soft corals are in the garage under some halides, so they'll be fine under these. I've got his blue lights set. Um, they, all the lights start coming on at 11 o'clock. Lights go off at 11 p.m. Um, there's a nice gradual sunrise and sunset. The blue lights peak out at 100%. They'll be there for four hours and they gradually ramp up to 100% and ramp down. The orange line here is his white lights and again they turn on at 11 o'clock and gradually ramp up and ramp down. In fact, I think what I'm going to do here, now we'll leave it the way it is right now, but actually I think what we're going to do is we're going to make a couple quick adjustments here. I want to, uh, no, no, we're not going to make any adjustments actually. Um, Actually, yes, we are going to make some adjustments. I want to adjust this point here to this point. Make that 100. This. Much easier on the regular PC. Browser, I don't think it's like in this browser that I'm using. All right, so uh, we're pretty much all set up. Jim's Apex is all configured. Um, I've got his lighting set up for his Reef Bright XHOs. Again, we've got two strips of white lights, two strips of blue lights. Um, I've created a nice gradual sunrise sunset. His sunrise begins at uh, 11 a.m. Um, and the lights will shut off around 11 p.m. So it's a 12 hour photo cycle. I've got four hours of peak lighting here. Um, and essentially what happens is the way we've got it set up is blues will peak at 100 um, percent where his whites they peak at 60 percent. You can see the two graphs here um, that we have and effectively what we have is 60% on the whites, 100% on the blues gives us what I would say is probably about 1800k um, color. It's a nice kind of not too blue, definitely not too white light. Um, should be a, a pretty good mix in my opinion and you know it's gonna be a lot bluer in the morning and gradually the white lights will come on an hour after the blue lights do um, so we'll have a nice sunrise sunset effect and uh, slowly building up to this color over the course of a day. Again, it'll be peak um, lighting for about four hours and then slowly um, ramping down, which will give a nice effect throughout the day and not, you know, shock the corals with too much light at once. And again, it'll only keep it in peak lighting um, for a minimal amount of time. Now, you know, a lot of people say, well, 100% is too much, but Jim's got soft corals. He doesn't have a lot of SPS in there, really any SPS at this point. His soft corals have been under metal halide for a number of weeks. Um, and as such, they're gonna be more than fine coming in here. And uh, I think they'll adjust just fine. And uh, that pretty much is it for the light side of it. Um, we can flip back over here to Fusion and you can see the Fusion interface here again. Um, we have his return pump here, we have his skimmer, we have his ATO pump, we have his Reef Bright LEDs that just happen to be on an EV8 outlet. Um, no real need to do that because they are 0 to 10 volt controlled, but we had an extra space, I plugged them in there. We've got his chiller plugged in here, the Apex is acting as a fail safe for that. Um, we've got his hog algae scrubber, um, his feeder that's not plugged into an EV8, but the feeder controller there, um, his blue light, his white light and the other two variable speed ports that ultimately are going to be used 
uh, by the JBO pumps. So essentially that's it. Um, the last thing we want to do now that we got everything set up is in the default Apex interface. You want to save the configuration, meaning you want to make a backup of the configuration. So we're going to go here to load save. Here in the native Apex browser, we're going to use the select all here. And we're going to save the configuration. It's going to ask us where we want to save it. Um, all right, so save the configuration. Um, that way, if you uh, are doing a firmware update, you've got a backup file. It's always a good idea if you're going to update your firmware to do a backup before you uh, do the update. That way, if anything gets boogered, you have an update of your backup of your configuration that you can refer back to and restore at any given time. So just again, to do a backup, you go back here, select all, and save configuration. In Chrome, it'll save it directly to your download folder. Um, in Internet Exploder, it will prompt you and ask you where you want to save it to, or there may be some settings in Chrome where um, you can have it prompt you as to where you want to save it. Normally, I'll save my backups to an Apex folder in a folder called Backup. And anytime I make changes, I always save my configuration so that if I need to do a backup, or a restore rather from a backup, I have a good solid backup. So essentially, that's it. We have set up Jim's uh, Apex. We've set up all his equipment. Um, Jim will now get notifications if there's any issues. Um, his lights are now controlled through the Apex as well. We'll give a nice sunrise, sunset. And uh, Jim has now been modernized. Um, again, if you are looking for information on Neptune Systems Apex, neptunesystems.com is a great resource. If you have an Apex and you have questions as to how to set it up, um, the Apex uh, Comprehensive User Guide is an incredible resource. It's a very good manual that covers pretty much everything Apex and has lots of programming examples. And of course, the neptunesystems.com uh, forum, which you can get to from neptunesystems.com on the support tab. Click support and you'll see forums there. Um, and check out the Neptune Systems Forum. And of course, reeftronics.net, that's R E E F T R O N I C S.net, is another great resource because there's tons of us Apex users that have Reeftronics linked to our Apexes, and you can go in and view our um, programming and statuses and stuff like that from Reeftronics. So, again, that's another great resource. Uh, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you learned a lot, and uh, we'll keep moving forward.